Now we're gonna get into the makeup magic. My skincare is magic. It really is, it's made of pure magic because I've never seen anything that's actually worked for skin like these products. When you take out the fragrance and you take the, the really cheap emollients out of products and you make something really concentrated and super powered, it's magic because my skin really should not look like this at 40 years old I just don't think so I'm not saying I look perfect but it's it's pretty darn nice and I was not born with great skin I have to work very very hard at it really hard at it you know it's it's, it's tough being me <laughs> anyway now we're gonna get into the makeup magic and this truly is the most amazing foundation you'll ever use in your life. I'm really serious. It takes away redness. It has dimethicone in it. Immediately takes away redness. Um, it feels like you're wearing nothing. This is foundation for people who hate to wear foundation. And there are a lot of people out there who really hate to wear foundation and I don't blame them. I was one of them. That's why I made this product. It's awesome. It's going to feel as though you're wearing nothing at all, but it's going to give you a bit of a more coverage, almost like stage makeup. But um, you'll see for yourself. I don't like to talk too much about it, but just know that this is the 4-in-1 Camera Ready Foundation, and it's magic, okay? Um, we're going to match the foundation. You always want to match it to your neck. You want to pick a color that completely and totally disappears on the neck. Your neck is half a shade lighter. It's about half a shade lighter than your face. If you match to your face, you're going to put the makeup down, toward, down the jaw and then you're going to get that dirty neckline. We don't want that. We don't want to look like we even have foundation on. This is not makeup that's going to look cakey. So we're going to match it to the neck. Pick a color that totally disappears on the neckline. We're also going to apply it with a brush. Um, all of my brushes are vegan brushes. They are synthetic brushes that, you know, it used to be that the synthetic brushes were the really awful, really terrible quality brushes. These are amazing. They're really, really good. They feel even nicer and more soft than the animal hair brushes and they're cruelty free and they're amazing. So we're gonna use a flat brush. You can also use a sponge to apply this foundation. I have some people who really prefer the sponge, um, but that's only for people who want to get a much heavier um, foundation application, more for like stage or something like that. I understand why some people want that. Most people, especially um, most of my customers are in warmer climates and they want to wear very little foundation. Using a brush like this, this is the foundation brush is going to allow you to get the least amount of product on your skin but get the most coverage, okay? So we're gonna pick up a little bit of the foundation with a brush and a little tiny bit goes a long way and we're going to apply this from the outside of the face and then work it in. And you know your face really well. This will take you no time at all. But again, outside of the face, I'm working it in. This one particular product acts as four amazing products. It is your foundation, it's your concealer, it's a dewy powder finish, and it's natural sun protection. Natural sun protection, all in one thing. Okay? And what I mean by that is no, there's no SPF number attached to it, but you want to have something with a lot of titanium dioxide in the product, and this has a lot of titanium dioxide. It is going to be a physical barrier between your skin and the sun, and nothing is better. I'm often in the sun because my older son plays baseball, and unfortunately, and I don't like being in the sun at all, unless I'm like swimming in the ocean, I don't want to be out in the sun, but I do love watching his baseball games. I digress. Anyway, I'll put on my foundation on my face and it's so hot here in South Florida and it's so humid. The most amazing thing about this product is that, see how smooth and everything, everything's nice and even, right? It's water resistant. So if you do decide to wear this to sit outside in blazing hot sun, 
you're not going to melt. It's not going to be running everywhere. I rarely get it, you know, on my phone even. After it kind of sets into the skin, it doesn't go everywhere. Also, um, I get more I get more protection from wearing my foundation makeup than I do with sunblock that I put on my body. I'll put on um, SPF 45 or whatever um, from the neck down, and I get I'm still red. See how red I am? That's from last Sunday's baseball game. My face, I get no color. So there you go. We're also going to use a little bit of the foundation. Take a little teeny tiny bit of the foundation and use it as a concealer. So if you have a pimple, a breakout, anything on your face that you want to conceal, you can just take a little bit of this product and just tap it in to make it disappear. I also use this to conceal dark circles underneath the eyes. I just want to kind of like just tap this in. Just kind of just press that in underneath the eyes. I also take, sometimes I take a little bit of this, not sometimes I always do this, take a little bit and also use it as the eye base. So it's kind of an all over product that we're using to take away the redness, make really even toned skin. It will freak people out initially that you're so much lighter, that you're about half a shade lighter, but it's all part of my evil, magical makeup plan because we're going to set the makeup with the bronzer. I'm not going to let people be really, really fair with their makeup, but it has to start off this way in order to end up looking truly flawless and also completely, um, I always say there needs to be continuity from head to body so that you're all one color, okay?